Today I'm welcome to another mod showcase. Welcome back to the Like and Into Monster Mod, guys. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Arctic mobs. I thought the shield biome from Biomes of Plunder was perfect, and there's like thorn land surrounding us. And there are mobs everywhere. Like, look, there's even a rare Wendigo over there. Like, that's pretty insane. And there's even like weird flamingos, and for some reason, there's even like slimes here. For some really weird reason. This isn't a swamp biome. Although, a lot of biomes from Biomes of Plenty have, like, mixed elements. Like, it kind of seems like this biome has, is, has, is, like, a mix of, um, swamp and arctic. Spriggan. Okay, okay, where are you? I really don't like Spriggan, but they, well, it's like, this is, like, a mix of three different biomes. It's, like, swamp, forest, and arctic. Oh no. Oh no. I hate Tsunami. It's like one of my least favorite events. Other than the Jeez. That was crazy. Alright, so let's just get on with it. So the first one we're starting with is the Frost Weaver. Or no, this is what- whoops. Wait, which one is the Frost Weaver? Okay, here we go. Foul spitting ice spiders take heed as their spit will produce a temporary sticky frost web. Was that really loud? And then they drop a um, string and frost web charges. And there's this frost web scepter that's um... It, oh yeah, I'm wearing this arctic things. I thought it would be funny. And it's just... Blaze rods and frost rod charges. So this is what they look like. I I honestly really like these ones because they're really cool blue color. Well, they do trap you in this thing, which is really annoying. Really annoying. Very 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 annoying. All up and against you, dude. So I love the animation for this scepter, but um, you're like dying, dude. Wait, let's see who's better at hurling frost webs. I'm better. Because you're getting owned. Wow, wait. These guys have actually pretty good accuracy and they actually hunt chickens. Like, I think there's like a chicken. Where was it? I think it was like over here. Like, this, guys, this is actually probably one of my favorite bombs from Bombs of Plenty because it just looks so realistic. It's so cool. You can see. Oh, yeah, they do drop spider eyes. That's weird because when I was testing, they, did, they didn't. So let's put that back, and then this one is the reviver. Icy spirits that hurl frost force bolts. They're supposed to be frost bolts. Anything that deems a threat. Um, they drop ice frost bolt charges, snowballs, and then frost bolt scepter. This is um kind of like the normal recipe for scepters, and um they spawn from frost fire, which is kind of like placed by down by windigos, which are another mob. They look really freaky, and the noise they make is really cool, but, and I love the noise for the frost bolts. And we got some snowballs. I love having snowball fights in real life. So, now the frost bolt scepter has rapid fire and does three damage, so, I'm missing with every single one I'm shooting. I'm better than you, dude. Yeah. Oh my god, man, we got a bunch of things that time. Let's fight one more. No more guys, I'll remember to shoot all the rare ones. Even though there was like a rare Wendigo over there. Which chest has Wendigos in it? I think... I think it was this chest? Is this the one with Wendigos? Yeah, this is the one with Wendigos. Large icy beasts known for leaving a trail of flesh fire and were awake, which... Spawns revivers, so it's almost as if it's like a boss battle. They will also hurl with tundra blasts, which create flesh fire and frost clouds on impact. And frost clouds, um... They hu give hunger, and then there's also frosty fur that they can drop, tundra charges, and lots of blocks of snow. And they these create frost clouds, and there's of course also a tundra scepter. So you just place this down, and it creates like a frost cloud that applies hunger. It's actually really neat. And then a tundra scepter, there's only one tundra charge, and then a bunch of frosty fur. So this is actually really dangerous because these guys are really mean. Like. They're really mean, and then the Tundra Blast, do it. 
why aren't you doing the yeah, they shoot those at you and then Yeah, they're really dangerous. Yeah, they're really dangerous and those will also spawn revivers, so let's hurry up. Oh my gosh, I'm frosty fur. Nice. So yeah, that's actually a really cool mob and then this Tundra Scepter. Let's try it out on a Wait, let's try it out on a frost weaver. Let me put this revivor spawn egg. Or no wait. I'll actually keep these on me. Let's try this out on a frost weaver. So um this one has a really sick animation and it does so much damage. Like high damage charge up, places frost fire and frost clouds. May damage rapid fire applies move slow down. Wait. Charge up, um rapid fire applies move slow down, places frost webs. You really dude. Yeah, I love this scepter. Although it does take up a lot of durability. Like look at all that durability got taken off. Let's put all these in the back of my inventory. And it's so weird how spawn eggs are like huge for like a nice mob. Alright, so let's do this this one, the Yeti. Wait, let's actually get this frosty fur in the back. The Yeti is the the formable formable one. I love this one. A large frosty mammal that like to eat the frozen vegetation of the Arctic. They can be formed using vegetables to watch out for the frost clouds. Yeti milk is a delicacy. And then there's buckets, potatoes, and then they drop frosty for packed ice, raw yeti meat, and then there's also cooked yeti meat and pale soup. So let's grab both of these. I'm really hungry. So cooked yeti meat, three bars, and then resistant three. So we take like no damage. And then this is what they look like. They're actually kind of cute, but they leave this thing that hungers you behind. You've probably seen these guys from my mod survival. I'm planning to do an episode of another episode really soon, but they just let you kill them. I'm like a joust. And where's the mate? Oh my god, there's like frost claws everywhere so I can't see. Alright, so let's breed. So let's breed them. You and you, did I feed them? I think they're making a baby. Oh yeah, a little baby yeti. It's so cute. Oh, wait, is that a hummingbird? Must be a hummingbird, so I'll leave you guys alone. It's gonna kinda be hard to do. Oh yeah, and then you can also milk them. Mm. Nice. Alright, and then the last one is the Oryx. Wicked frost imps normally found in very cold places. They throw balls of frost ice fire, not frost fire, which damage and slow enemies that can be tamed making great pets. These are probably one of my favorite pets of all time. And then we got a lot of treats. And I love the noise. Oh, they're like already tame. That's funny. Alright, so let's grab diamond. I'm gonna drop snowballs, ice fire charges, and there's an ice fire scepter. This does low damage, rapid fire, places ice fire. And then look at the Escalon. This one takes a while, but. Pow! Pow! And then let's give you a diamond. Oh yeah, sick dude. So um, let's have you fight one of your own kind. Go. So now it's gonna be like a battle in the sky. Protect me. And yeah, they really like sh ice fire. It's so annoying. And I'm dying. I nearly died just now. I really need this pale soup. Oh yeah, wait, and then the pale soup is bowl, milk, and cookie yeti meat. So let's fight this, and this gives you it for like a like really long time, so hit me. It's probably still gonna kill me. Yeah, there's a lot less damage. And such a rad pet. I mean, it's such a rad pet. So I'll get all these back and then I'll show you all the rare mobs. So let's go into creator. So I'll shoot you down, dude. And then I'll see you later. Ah! I'm like falling off the bed. Okay. 
All right, so let's show you all the rare ones. Oh my god, wait. Oh my god, the Yeti families are all the way over here. Where's the dad? The dad's over here. And what's so weird is that there's even like flamingos and cassowaries here. What are these? I really hate when I find just eggshells. All right, so rare frost weaver first. Wait, they're light frost weaver. There's also a blue version. Um. Wait, let's get the Azure one. This is the blue version. Um. Really? Come on. And there's like the sickest ravine right here with Inferno mobs in it. And they do hunt chickens. I really do not like it, but die. Like, I really do not like that they hunt chickens. Because I love chickens, if you didn't know. Oh god, the dude right here is. And I think these guys can also come up walls like normal spiders. So let's try to get a rare, a blue one again. Blue. Azure Frost Weaver looks a lot sicker. A right, rare Wendigo. I know you guys already saw it, but let's just do it anyway. Violet Wendigo. This is the girl version, but earlier, if you, did you see the Keppel one, like the bluer, like the turquoise colored? C -c Come on! Oh my God, the Yetis. We're like going into the plant. Oh, there we go. A couple minutes ago. We're like going into the. Oh yeah, this is like the grassland. It's like a. It's actually a mix of like um, swamp, and um, plains. Alright, so reviver. Ashen reviver. There's also gold version. Golden reviver. And then let's get it. Yeti. If you guys watched my um mod survival, you probably saw like a um. Both kinds of Violet Yeti and the Russet Yeti. Uh, uh, come on. Alright, so Violet Yeti. I love the green eyes. And then Rare Oryx. There's a Violet one and a Azure one. So hopefully we get the blue one. Really cool. Alright, we got Azure, but the Violet one looks really sick too. I know the Violet one looks really cool. So, um, these are really sick trees. And I need a piece flip because it's getting really dangerous. There. Although these yetis are still here, but that's perfectly fine. Hope you guys enjoyed this mod showcase. And oh my god, there's like an Arasaur over there. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this mod showcase. If you did, crush the like button with your um Eskimo hood. If you're if you've ever been to no one's ever been to the Arctic. Honestly, no one has ever been to the Arctic. See you guys.